know, hard to tell yet. Just one race in, um, and with it being a couple speedways to start, but you know, it's been all good stuff and um, working through the change with the team and figuring out the sim world and getting everything lined up. But uh, you know, overall, it's been been good. How much of a shot in the arm is it to get a double top ten with both JHN finishing seventh at Daytona? You know, given the start of the season, also that the potential there was, you know, potentially end with two cars on the record. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good just to get out of Daytona with a, a solid day um, is what you really want. So, yeah, I mean, it's a tough start to the schedule. You know, you could go Daytona, Atlanta, and have two pretty bad weekends pretty quick, and be in a bad spot points pretty quick too. So nice to just start out um, in a good spot. Hopefully rack up some more points here uh, tomorrow and, you know, have a shot to win too. We've run good here the last couple of years, so um, we'll see how it all plays out. But definitely nice to not not be starting in a deficit. How yeah. close were you to JHN before being teammates with him and what's he like behind the scenes? Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't really know him at all before. You know, I've gotten to know him um, a bit better over the last couple of months and uh, how, he, how he does things. And, you know, he's just learning to move into the role, um, trying to get into the sim stuff and Ben coming in on the crew chief side, getting kind of moved into uh, to our group. So uh, overall, it's been a good, good start. And, you know, we just need to, we just want to get racing on, uh, you know, more normal tracks. I mean, Daytona and Atlanta here, it's a tough start to the year to know kind of where you stack up and uh, want to get going on some of these, you know, more more typical tracks where we can really see where, where we both, both fall into place at. Hey, Nick, um, a lot of talk since last week about uh, fuel saving in the Daytona 500. Obviously, it's always been a part of the sport, so that's nothing different. But the level you guys had to do seemed to be more excessive than what you have. What was it like in the driver's seat uh, for that? I, you know, I know Kyle Busch called it disgraceful from his point of view. I don't know how you could. Not, not fun. You know, unfortunately, y you have to do it when everybody does it. You know, if you don't and you're, you're leading the pack and, and running up front, you're just going to cycle right to the back on the pit stop with how much fuel you got to take. And then, you know, late in the game, you're, you're pretty much out of it at that point. So it's, it's not a... It's not enjoyable um, on a speedway race, and here it'll be a, a similar race. I don't think it'll be as bad with some handling coming into play, but we'll still have to save fuel. So, yeah, it's not fun. You know, I, I'd love to have a fix. I think, you know, there's maybe some stuff we can come up with, but uh, there, there are rabbit holes, too, that it's going to go down and lead to other things. So, I, I don't know. It, it would be nice to have a fix for it, an easy fix for it, but I don't think there is. Is there anything that... Okay, to be looked at before Talladega now, uh, or is that probably too soon? Or yeah, probably too soon. I think there's a lot of data that we have available that makes saving more valuable and knowing what we're truly gaining. Um, you know, obviously not getting points for leading the most laps or leading a lap anymore. Um, you know, that affects it too, right? There's no value to lead leading laps other than the stage end. So that's changed things somewhat. Um, so there's there's a handful of things, but both of those solutions, you know, before before Talladega would be hard to do. When it comes to the fuel, like extreme fuel saving, we saw Daytona. Is it a is it like does it take a coordinated effort from like several cars, or is it just one car, the lead car can do it, and then everyone else has to in response? No, uh, it's uh, it's not several cars. You know, if you're in line and in the pack, you know, you're saving fuel. Um, the lead guy is, is at a disadvantage, and that's how. That's how the pack got so backed up. The lead guy finally just said, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy burning all the fuel. I'm just going to slow everybody down. And uh, and that's what happened at, at Daytona. The lead, the leader just decided he was going to save as much fuel as everybody else and, and you know, slowed us down 20 miles an hour. So, um, it, and we haven't seen that before, right? That's why it probably hasn't been as noticeable on TV until Daytona. But, um, yeah, it, it doesn't matter truly where you're at in the pack, it seems, uh, right now. I know you got a lot of stuff to get through this week and another, you know, go for another potential top 10 or win. But what are you looking or hoping to see, or especially the next couple weeks with Vegas and Phoenix as it gets into that portion of Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for those just to good, bad, indifferent, know where we stack up. Uh, obviously, we hope it's good. We want to go to Vegas, run well, Phoenix run well. But, you know, even if we go and, and we have a tough day at Vegas, you know, at least, okay, now we know where we're at. You know, right now, you know, we don't know. I mean, we had good speed at Daytona. You know, I think we'll have good speed here again tomorrow, but it's not relative to the season beyond these two places in, in Daytona and Talladega. So, um, 
you know, I just want to know where we stack up in the game, what we got to work on. You know, right now we've implemented a lot of things and done a lot of things, but we don't know truly where we're at and what we got to, what we got to get better at. Attention drivers. Are you ready to take your brand to the next level and leave your competition in the dust? Imagine your own custom digital trading cards showcasing your journey, your victories, and your unique style. Fans don't just want to see you on the track, they want to own a piece of your legacy. And with Race Face Digital, they can. It's more than just the checkered flag. It's about creating a digital connection with your fans. Where off-track advantages become on-track victories. Enroll now at racefacedigital.com. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.